Welcome to the Garage Gym Experiment Podcast, where we dive deep into the home gym scene. Each week, we put out Sunday surveys where you tell us your thoughts on products, builds, and all things home gym related. We're here to break down the numbers and to talk shop. So thanks for listening, and let's get started. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to the Garage Gym Experiment Podcast. I'm Adam, and I'm joined tonight by, of course, Jake, and our guest is Maddie Russo, aka the Muscle Wizard. In part one of tonight's episode, we're going to see which companies most people own their equipment from, and then we're going to do a deep dive into Maddie's fitness and home gym experiences. We'll do that in part two, but again, part one is the survey results, and with that, we're going to send it over to Jake. All right. Thank you, Adam. So um, in the most recent Sunday survey, we asked about 19 different com companies simply asking, do you own anything from them? So we have everything from Rogue to Strength Co. and Stray Dog. So we have 19 different companies. This is a basically a follow-up to our survey we did a few weeks ago, which is, have you ha ever heard of these companies? And we'll kind of do a quick little comparison towards the end of that. Um, and this is the third time we've done this survey as well. So a little bit of comparison data later as well. Nevertheless, uh, we, we basically uh, put these 19 different companies out and you tell us whether you own anything from these companies or not. That's kind of how it works. But to start off, the kind of crazy figure is that 84% of people responding to these questions own something from Rogue. Titan and Rep are uh, in a distant second, but in a clear second and third place. Um, right around 61% and then 60% for rep. Abmats easily in fourth with about a third owning something from Abmat, most likely an Abmat. And then after that, it's pretty much about 20% and below. Um, so Lee FTS is about 21%. Bells of Steel, 16%, which is somewhat of a surprise with some of the companies that they beat out. We also have in the like 12 to 15% range, Fringe, Kabuki, Body Solid, Frey, Get Our X, 11% own something from Clevabil. And then a few weeks ago, we saw that Sornex and Alico, about over 90% know who they are. Only about 10% based on this data own something from those, you know, premium options, which is, you know, kind of a lot, it seems like. American Barbell, PRX performance around 9%, about 4% have Strength Co, 4% have Force USA, and then we added Stray Dog at the end at 3%. Before I move on, any of uh, any uh, surprises here uh, for you guys here? I, uh, I thought Bells of Steel would be a little higher, to be honest with you. A lot of the other numbers are, are about what I would expect, but Bells of Steel I thought would be a lot higher than that. Um, I, I myself have like multiple pieces of their equipment, and I know that they had been really picking up business. So I'm I'm just shocked, especially considering their price point and like in comparison to like Titan or Rep, uh, I and the quality of their stuff. Like I'm really surprised that it's not much higher. Um, so I, I, yeah, I I was. Because it was what, like you say, like 16? 16, yeah. That's wild to me. I really thought it'd be a lot higher than that. Yeah, I'm going to echo that and just say a lot of their stuff coming out, I think, is really exciting. So 16 seems very low, but I also see, whenever we run this again, Jake, how much growth Bells of Steel is going to have. Yeah. Because I, I would predict them growing quite a bit. And at the bottom of the list, Stray Dog, they're kind of new to the home gym scene if you know, when you think about it in the last six months, they just kind of like popped up and people are starting to talk about them quite a bit. At 3%, uh, I can see them growing quite a bit next time we run the survey as well. Got it. Well, interesting you bring up <clears throat> Bells of Steel. Um, so the next slide is basically going to tell us, so like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, we've done this survey three, this is the third time. We started about a year ago and then did another one in between. So we have comparison data for about a year now. And Bells of Steel is actually, when you take in percentage, the largest riser. So back in August of 2021, they've gone, they went from 9.5% to 16.2%. 
Titan has gone from about 44% to 61. Rep, 38 to just under 60%. So Rep's the largest like difference. And then rep, or Bells of Steel would be the largest riser in terms of percent change, if that makes sense. But yeah, I, I would... I would guess Bells of Steel will continue to rise. We've seen them rise really going from like 40s percentile all the way up to the 90s in the last three years in terms of have you heard of these companies? Or I think they're right around 89%, something like that. So yeah, that that's a really good call out. Um, we'll see as they continue to pump out new products if they... Uh, get closer to rep and Titan, but it is also just, it's uh, important to notice that the largest risers are these three companies. I think these three are kind of in the lead right now, as far as like, when you look at those companies adding who have the best value products for most home gym owners, mm -hmm. um, these three might just be at the top of that list. And then Rogue's kind of already like way up there. So they're likely not gonna move much. They can only lose, really. They're already so high. I'll move on to, uh, I would say, and then like, keep in mind, like most of these people answering the surveys are just adding to their gym. There's some fall off, some new, but we only saw one company go down and that over the last year or so, and that is Get Our Xed. Lastly, we compared the most recent, have you heard of these companies to the percent that own something at the top you have rogue titan or i was i should say when you compare the like percent own to percent heard of ratio uh we have rogue titan rep at the top one company that has a higher a pretty good ratio of percent owning versus percent heard of is clevabilt so 11 percent out of the 44 percent is a, you know, they provide really niche products and basically uh, a quarter of the people that have heard of Clevabilt went out and purchased. So that's pretty impressive. Um, I mentioned in the last section that Sorenex, Lyco, um, American Barbell and PRX, uh, they all have relatively low percentages. So that's the data breakdown. Any other thoughts before we move on? No, a lot of these numbers, I think, are about what I would expect. Like you said, the GetRx had gone down a little bit. I, I'm not really surprised at that one. I think this is one. That's one of those kind of uh, their companies kind of like off on the side. And unless you're like real deep in into like like guys like us that are like kind of gearheads when it comes to fitness equipment, the average person doesn't really hear about them that much. Like I think I've got I've got one piece from them. It's a pair of J cups. But other than that, like their stuff is, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not shocked at that number. A lot of the other numbers are pretty much where I thought they'd be, except for Bells of Steel really surprised me. But like Adam said, I think it'll go up a lot. They've got a lot of really cool stuff that they've released. Their quality is really high. They have some like, if you like, you live in Indiana, you can get some crazy deals. Um, but in general, like just their stuff is really good. The pricing is similar to Rep or Titan. So I think the more their advertisement picks up and the more people get an eye on them and realize the quality is good, the price is similar. I, I only see their stock just continuing to rise. And like you said, it was their highest riser out of those three. So I mm -hmm. imagine that'll just continue to go. Are there any other companies on this list that you see going down <laughs> you're on your phone it's yeah i'm on my small. phone i'm sorry it's <laughs> yeah. the list <laughs> it's right. um the only one we i can could, skip it yeah you know, i was no just gonna say the only one i could think is maybe like a fringe sport uh i would say frey except for frey starting to get some advertisement because they had that new rack come out that's got the uh like the trainer on it so they've been mm -hmm. getting a little bit of word of mouth on that and it looks pretty solid but fringe i feel like they're kind of fringe. Uh, <laughs> I don't hear about them tons, but a lot of the other people I, I either see, you know, shown on like, like sites like yours or like other influencers and stuff. I think get our X is the only one that may be fringe. Yeah. I haven't heard much about fringe lately, but yeah, I think, uh, I think that's going to do it for the survey. 
Cool.